is the free motion quilting tutorial for Moon Feathers. This video is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. So far over 300 designs have been published to this project for free with video tutorials just like this one. Check out the other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to Moon Feathers. To quilt this design you're going to start with a long flowing stem kind of shape. If you want to just kind of wiggle and curve this around however you want it to look on the surface of your quilt. This is going to stand out uh, a lot more than the feathers so just kind of make sure that it looks the way you want it to look and it's not jerky or blocky. Okay so now the second step is to stitch your moon feathers and moon feathers are very different from traditional feathers because you're just stitching out and back just making the smooth curving arch shape. It's not a traditional teardrop shape feather. I'm not curling around and under to create a teardrop. I'm just simply bouncing back and forth to create a half moon shape. It's much simpler. It's a great way to practice feathering in general because you're stitching off that stem and you're stitching a nice smooth curve. I think if you wanted to learn feathers really badly but were struggling with how to stitch them, this would be a great way to really experiment and give yourself some practice. So you can see I'm kind of curving this over and around and then now I'm going to travel stitch all the way back to the beginning because I want my feathers to curve in the same direction and the easiest way to do it is to stitch from the beginning in the same direction as the first set. So now I'm just going to continue to branch off bouncing back and forth and really all you have to concentrate on is just simply stitching that arch kind of a U shape and bounce it and connect with the feather before it. It's very very simple but it produces an amazing texture and you can see how this texture is starting to take shape. In this situation I started to play with widening the vine line, the starting stem, and that really produces some interesting results because you can see how the stems are going to stand out so much more on the surface of your quilt because the moon feathers are really close together and dense. And so this stands out nicely. So you can really experiment with some funky shapes of your stem and that's going to stand out and really show off. Now I've kind of created this little hook here and I want to go in there and fill that with some tighter smaller moon feathers. It's really fun to just play and experiment with this design. It's really not that difficult. It just looks intense because the texture is so overwhelming and beautiful. I'm going to travel stitch back again. I'm just of the mindset that it's much easier to create this from the kind of the starting point and branching towards yourself. Uh, you want to play with it and see what way is the easiest for you and if you don't really care which way the feathers are bending or twisting then you can of course just keep on stitching all the way around. Um, but I always like to travel stitch back to my starting point and stitch towards myself arching them so that they're kind of curling in the same general direction. Any weird areas just fill those in with just some back and forth arching lines and that will fill them in evenly and keep it consistent with the rest of the design. The neat thing is you can also kind of slightly expand those last feathers whenever they start getting big and that's just like a traditional feather where you need to be able to move these and make some really big and some really small. So now I'm going to go into this little tiny pocket and fill that in with some more arching shapes too. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Moon Feathers. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine at freemotionproject.com.